I had actively fought for a shorter quarantine period for our OFWs as well as returning overseas Filipinos, pointing out that a 10-day quarantine inside a hotel is illogical, expensive, harrowing, stressful, and totally does not make sense if we are indeed to address the spread of COVID-19. If you would remember, we insisted, the Cebu Protocol insisted on a swab upon arrival so that immediately all those that arrive from other countries will immediately be tested with the best results coming out in 24 to 48 hours. The protocol for IATF is, at the time, swabbing on the seventh day. And you saw how it was done in Manila, where arriving OFWs and ROFs were even told to first purchase in convenience stores and go around so that uh, they could get their basic necessities. And I have stories about people arriving and just going out of the hotel or even talking with the hotel staff. They're only tested. They were only tested on the seventh day. Small wonder then that the Delta variant started with community transmission in Manila. You ask why? Because those that arrive, you don't know whether they're already infected or not. We're the only, we're one of the few countries that does not require an RT-PCR upon boarding from the uh, country of departure. And so there was community transmission. Ironically enough, one of these technical advisors, Dr. Silvania, was blaming Cebu, when in fact, history would have shown that community transmission started in Luzon, in Manila. Why? Because these potentially infected arriving OFWs or ROFs interacting with the staff, infecting the staff, and the staff, the hotel staff or security guards go home to their families. That's how community transmission started. But of course, Dr. Salvania had to look for a scapegoat. Their swabbing on the seventh day was very risky, dangerous, and that was the effect. Well, we have continued with the swab upon arrival. By the way, isn't it strange? Over here in Cebu, the RT-PCR for all ROFs and OFWs is free. You're not charged a single centavo for it. But in Manila, I hear it costs you 2,200 or 2,600. If the DOH could do it here for free, why can't the DOH do it? Do the same for the ROFs and OFWs that would arrive in Manila. Our protocol would have been, after three days, they may go home and continue their home quarantine. And we would swab again on the seventh day. Double swabbing. Recent, well, a few weeks ago, as an incentive to vaccinated individuals, I issued a memorandum that vaccinated arriving ROFs and OFWs would be swabbed on the first day swab on the fifth day and since we are very efficient here the molecular lab can immediately come up with the result the results can come out on the same day so that they may go home that was agreed on but then the IATF again started with this very bright technical advisors came up with the color coding 
and they would only allow that for green countries. How they arrived at coloring these countries green escapes my sense of logic. And strangely enough, the U.S., which has the most number of vaccinated individuals, were because of uh, the drive to produce vaccines, you have the most number of vaccines being produced in the U.S. They did not list the U.S. under the green country category. And they have other colors like, what are the other colors? Uh, uh, there's yellow, there's orange, there's lavender. <laughs> Recently, the president came up with a statement, shorten, shorten the quarantine period. And uh, well, the IETF has said that they are studying it for the sake of humanity. Please find your humanity somewhere in there. Beyond the power tripping, remember that our ROFWs, ROFs and OFWs are Filipinos too. They have families too. And many of them are not coming home for a grand vacation. They're coming home for urgent reasons, for emergency purposes. Someone may be very sick, someone may have died, and they're just trying to catch up with the wake, or there, somebody met an accident, or there's a huge family problem, and yet you confine them illogically with your uh, illogical quarantine protocols. I hope that we finally at least agree that for all vaccinated arrivals from whether they be OFWs or ROFs, they will be tested on the fifth day. And over here in Cebu, because we are efficient, we can release the results on that same day. They may go home regardless of what color the country they come from because after all this, this coloring or color coding is a your creation there is no international standard i have been trying to look at some kind of international standard that would justify this uh, color coding thing so i hope that that can finally be accomplished answering the call of the president to shorten the quarantine period.